All new tonight, tigers as pets tied up in the backyard. Now we've seen it here, like these two brothers who were eventually relocated to Out of Africa Wildlife Park. And now a bigger look at where some of these exotic pets are even coming from. Now tigers are illegal here in our state, unless you have a special permit from Arizona Game and Fish. Sadly, they're also part of a pretty elaborate black market business. And as ABC 15's Jason Valentine shows us, a lot of it is happening right at our border. Who could resist that face? Imagine the shock for customs officers when they found this little guy during inspection at the Ote border crossing. There it was right there on the floor of the car, a, a tiger cub. The Ote Mesa port of entry, the biggest international crossing in the U.S. More people come through here and San Ysidro than JFK and LAX combined. And some of the stuff they try to bring in... We see a lot of unusual things. It's sad. I mean, we're talking about a living thing here, and we all care about that. And then the people are smuggling them in, obviously for profit. The little tiger cub was bought in Mexico for just $300. He's worth about 1500 bucks here in the United States. Bobby Brink is with the Lions, Tigers, and Bears Animal Rescue. She's very familiar with the problem of animal smuggling and says it's perpetuated by tourist traps. They're bred for nothing more than profit, and they pull the babies from the mom before they're even 8 to 10 days old, before their eyes are open. Hey, Sarisha. Oh, Sarisha. Brink is talking about tourist photo ops with tiger cubs, sometimes for fees, supposedly going to big cat conservation efforts, but she says sometimes it's all a lie. It's really sad because they lie to the public, and they tell you it's conservation, or they're a sanctuary, or they're rescuing these animals. They're not rescuing babies. The World Wildlife Fund reveals some shocking numbers. There are more big cats in the backyards of homes in the United States, some say 5,000 or more, than there are in the wild. There's more in the state of Texas than there are in the wild, and there are more big cats in the state of Florida than anywhere in the world. Brink is fighting to change legislation around the country, but says the best way you can help is to avoid tourist traps and don't pay to take a picture. I'm Jason Valentine, ABC 15, Arizona. Some remarkable.